The suspected NorCal rapist faced a judge for the first time this afternoon. Authorities say he had eluded arrest for nearly three decades. KPI X5's Juliet Goodrich on the Bay Area victims who were in the courtroom today. Juliet. Well, Liz, two Bay Area victims came to Sacramento. They wanted to look this alleged NorCal rapist face to face in the eyes, and they did just that today as he faced a judge. He looked at squarely at us in the eyes when he walked out. Um, first time I've seen his face ever. It's a day we've all waited for for a really long time. Today, 58 year old Roy Waller, the suspected NorCal rapist, appeared in a Sacramento courtroom. Two of his alleged victims sitting just feet away to see the man they say raped and terrorized them. But when he turned around and he looked squarely at us, straight in our eyes, I glared right back. One Northern California district attorney called Waller a real life boogeyman who crept into his victims' homes under the cover of darkness and attacked them when they were most vulnerable. There's not a moment that you forget. You don't forget the details. You don't forget smells, sounds, sights. You don't forget it, ever. Investigators say his alleged crime spree started in 1991 in Ronert Park and continued 15 years of victimizing women in Davis, Chico, Woodland, and Sacramento. Using the same genetic genealogy website used to catch the Golden State Killer, investigators recently uploaded the NorCal rapist DNA. Like with the Golden State Killer, it allowed them to compile a family tree of relatives with common genes and tracked it back to their suspect in just 10 days. Joseph Farina is Waller's defense attorney. Until I have the police report, I can't say, well, here's you know, how much time you're facing. I don't know. I don't know what's in the police reports. Um, I don't know the extent of the DNA or whatever the material they might have. Waller allegedly bound and sexually assaulted his victims before ransacking their homes. For decades, investigators have been collecting DNA, but with no known matches, it wasn't much help until recent advances in genealogy DNA changed everything. I was the only ones who saw his face for a really long time. And that's another reason why I wanted to come. I had seen his face when I was in fear. This time I get to see his face when he's in fear. Now, police say that Waller is linked to at least 10 women in this 15 year sexual assault spree. Two of those cases here in Sacramento, and that is what he is behind bars for now, facing 12 counts, and he could face life in prison. He's back in court October 30th, and those two survivors here today say they'll be back in court as well. In Sacramento, Julia Goodrich, KPIX 5.